Hey, this is Brian King. Pardon my morning Kleenex fuzz. I need to do a better job of checking this before I go live. If you hear background noise, you're hearing parakeets. Maybe you're hearing my puppies who want my attention because there's life happening in my house. That's life. If you happen to be watching me live, please type hashtag live in the comments. If you're watching the replay, please type hashtag replay. I like to post a lot of inspirational stuff on Facebook, you know, the stuff that inspires me. And I can't remember the specific post, but yesterday uh, somebody commented, you know, well, I wish it just didn't have to be that hard. And it doesn't, is the reality. And if you've been following me for a while, you know I go through a lot of stuff. I have ADHD, dyslexia, I have multiple sclerosis, I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, I deal with chronic pain, and I'm one of the most positive people that you're, you're ever going to meet. And positivity comes from one specific source. It comes from the knowledge of your own solutions, the knowledge of the available solutions. You can be optimistic because you know there's a light at the end of the tunnel and you know exactly where to go to find it. You know, you're not sitting there wishing it's going to show up, hoping it's going to show up. And, you know, you know, clenching your teeth and biting your lip and saying, oh, I believe it's out there somewhere. I hope it's going to show up. Wish, wish, wish. No. You know exactly where it is and you know the path to get there. But how do you figure out where it is? Bottom line, you learn it. Look at everybody that you see as a role model. You know, Stephen Hawking just died. Brilliant guy, incredible imagination. But he got to his essential understanding of physics because he learned it. He went to school. And with all of that information, knowing all of those relationships and all of those laws, he was able to take it a step further, but he needed that foundation. You know, I look to some of the, the greats out there in the personal development world, like the late Wayne Dyer, Tony Robbins, Marie Forleo, some names that you might not be familiar with. But all of these people began by making themselves stellar, I want to say to a certain degree, obsessive students of their craft, relentless learners. Now, I don't want to knock however you choose to spend your time. It's none of my business how you live your life. I'm just telling you certain choices I've made because I want very specific results. But if you want to live in such a way where you live a little more fearless, people that are afraid is because they see more danger, more unknown than anything else. Life is always going to have unknowns, don't get me wrong. But the more you know about how the world works, about what's operating out there, the less you have to fear. Because when you fall, you have more options on how to get back up, how to recover, how to bounce back from failure. You know how many people out there have commented or come up with strategies for how to overcome the fear of rejection or overcome the fear of failure? Thousands. But you don't know what they are if you don't research them, if you don't learn from them. Instead, people will just kind of sit there being afraid of failure being afraid of rejection, and do nothing to overcome that. They just believe, oh, I'm, I'm just afraid of failing, so I'm just not going to try. Well, don't look for any way around that. Why would you? When you can just sit there and sit in that fear. What has really set the stage for who I've become, where I'm going, is back when I was 18, going through chemotherapy for cancer, is when I was feeling so helpless, so terrified, so out of control, I decided that it was completely unacceptable for me to feel that way. So I went to the library and I immersed myself in philosophy and psychology and personal development because I was looking for solutions to feeling helpless because I didn't like that level of fear. And I found so many answers and I began putting them to work, began experimenting with them began implementing them until I had a response to the feeling of fear. 
a response to the feeling of helplessness so that I could move from that place into a place of empowerment, of confidence. I learned it. I didn't say, well, you know what, I'm feeling afraid. Let's distract myself with the latest episode of my favorite sitcom. Because once that half an hour is over, fear comes right back. There's no solution there. Yeah, there's entertainment, which is helpful every now and then. A good laugh is nice. But as a matter of habit, running to the sitcom instead of running to learning to get over that, to me is a complete waste of time. Time which I may remind you is a very scarce resource when it comes to your life. How do you want to spend it? Yeah, I watch my share of sitcoms, maybe one or two here or there. But if I have an opportunity to learn instead of watch a sitcom, which do you think I'm going to choose? I would much prefer to feel positive and have reasons for it, have strategies for it. I would much rather learn how to be a more effective parent, a more effective business person, instead of running for a distraction from my fears and my concerns. I am hungry for solutions and strategies. I am hungry for learning because it is learning that gives you options. Whenever you find yourself stuck, oh, I don't know what else to do. No, I, I, I just kind of feel like I'm stuck. Okay, ask some questions. Go out there into your, your resources on Facebook, your resources in your face-to-face -face life and say, when you feel stuck, what do you do? Start the conversation, get some new ideas in your mind, learn some new perspectives because you're more likely than not, you are gonna see a door or a window open that you didn't even know existed. Why? Because you haven't learned about it yet. You need to keep learning as often as possible. The more solutions, the more answers you have, the more opportunities you see. It all begins with learning. So my question to you is, what are you gonna learn today? Do you have it on your schedule to learn something? And you can, let me throw this in. There's something called Google Alerts that not enough people use. Not sure what it is, just surprise, surprise. Go on Google and put it in the subject line, Google Alerts. What it is, is you can pick keywords that you want to learn about every day. Resilience, love, psychology. Stay away from politics, trust me. It'll just make things worse. Resilience relationships, and Google will look for the top articles and that keyword, and every day, send them to you. You can read up on it, learn something, find inspiration for something to share for a meaningful conversation at lunch, something you want to talk about with your spouse later. So many opportunities to get out there and relive the learning you just had. Expand your mind every single day, and what will it take? five, 10, 20 minutes, depending on how many articles you dive into, I'm sure you can spare that much time. Go and dip into that book that's been sitting on your nightstand for a few months. Read a few pages. Stop when you've got an idea that makes you go, oh, I wanna spend some time with this. This is awesome. I need to mull it around and let it spin in my subconscious and see what it produces for me. We live in a digital age where the information is just sitting there waiting for your consumption. Why don't you consume some of that instead of another YouTube video where, where somebody's getting hit in the nuts because they did something stupid or another cute cat video. Cats are cute, I've got two of them, but they're not gonna advance your life because they're not gonna teach you something necessarily that's gonna move it forward or get you unstuck. So begin there, Google Alerts, read something, ask a question, learn something that wasn't there before. Maybe you'll even get rid of some of those beliefs you've been hanging on to that aren't doing you any good anymore. So do something with that. And something I wanna remind you of is I work with clients every single day, you may not know this, via text, via video. And one of the main things I focus on with them is teaching them to be more resourceful which is be more solution focused, which is be a student of solutions, of resources. When you get your mind in that set, you become hungry for solutions instead of obsessing with problems. A very important shift. 
and one I can teach you how to do too. If that interests you, just shoot me off a message. But in the meantime, please enjoy this. Please share it with other people that can benefit from it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video, if it was helpful. And have an awesome life. Life is good. We'll talk again soon.